All right guys, so I decided I'm gonna be using my steam cleaner for the shower. Um, but first I do have to, I'm gonna finish scraping off all of the little pieces of bars of soap first. And this is also where the bar of soap like has leaned up. Um, I literally can't stand bar soap for this reason. So anyway, I'm gonna clean all this up and then I'm like while the steamer um, heats up and then I'm gonna get started just kind of cleaning like all of the grout and the corners and everything, so. Oh yeah, and I have to get those off the wall and then I am supposed to remove all of the fixtures but I think I might just tape them all off. I really don't feel like going through the trouble of removing everything and you know me, I do things the lazy way, so yeah. Alrighty guys, so just a little reminder, I'm about to be resurfacing this shower with like a tile epoxy resurfacing kit. Um, let me just say, this whole master bathroom remodel on a budget has been kind of a failure so far. Like literally, I feel like everything I'm doing in here is just not working out or something's getting messed up one way or another. And I'm so ready for this whole bathroom to just be done. I just want to be done with it. Um, and like, I just want to be like satisfied with it. Um, I feel like I'm getting closer to that point. Um, but there are still some things I need to do in here. And you'll see at the end of this video, I kind of point out like what more I need to do in here. Um, but yeah. All right, so now I'm using my Dupre Neat Steam Cleaner. I love this thing. I don't use it enough though, you guys. Like I literally forget that I have it and I have so many areas in my home that I want to go around with this thing and tackle. Like there are so many walls in my house that just need to be steam cleaned. Like corners of my walls that have handprints all over them, like the doors in the house need to be steam cleaned. Like there are just so many areas that I really need to get down with the steam cleaner. <laughs> um, but like I said, I just forget that I have it. And then also I just feel like I never have time to like work on those areas because I'm constantly like keeping up with the everyday tasks. But um, I really do want to like deep clean my house soon room by room maybe like one room a day I get in there with the steamer or something I don't know we'll see but all right so now that the shower is all steam cleaned and all of the I feel like all of the soap scum is off and it's ready and bare and like a, a prepared surface for the resurfacing stuff the epoxy stuff. Sorry guys, it's late right now when I'm doing this voiceover and like I feel like I should have done this voiceover way earlier in the day. <laughs> so I'm sorry, you're going to get really tired Jill in this voiceover today. All right, I'm going to speed this up a bit more now. Let me know down in the comments like are you a DIY person? Do you enjoy doing um, tedious work like this in your house or would you rather just leave things alone or maybe like hire someone to come and fix things up? Um, I really do enjoy doing projects like this even when they are so like tedious and so much work. Um, it really does just make a huge difference and I love seeing like the final result of like my vision come to life. Um, so as hard as it is and as much um, like so this project literally this shower project took me like two months to complete even though it could have been done in one day. Um, you'll hear me explain why but um, anyway 
I don't know what it is, but I just really enjoy it. Like to me, it's therapeutic. And then once it's done, I'm like, ah, I love like looking at the final work. And I just, I don't know. I just love it. I love DIY projects. Um, I wish that I had more time to like do them more often and like get better at DIYing, but I just don't have the time. Anyway, I had to call my husband in to ask how to get this mask on. I could not figure out how to get this thing on. And yeah, so now that it's on, I'm ready to go. I've got my gloves on. I've got my ventilation mask. I have the window open in here. I have the fan on. All right, let's do this. This stuff smelt so, so bad. Like I couldn't smell it with this mask on, but like, when I got, so like when I was in this part with like the opening, like where you walk into the shower, it was fine. But then once I went to the left where it's like three walls closed in, it was burning my eyes. Like it was so hard to keep applying it in that spot to the left because I literally like could not see. Like my eyes were like watering and like it was crazy so this stuff is gnarly this stuff is so strong um I will say that when I did the first coat I really didn't know what I was doing and I wished I had started like behind me like this place in the shower where like you don't see it from here um instead of starting right here where you can see good um but anyway it all ended up coming out fine but I just wish I started in like a more inconspicuous place, um, but yeah, this stuff was, I mean, it was going on and it it's starting to look like white tile and it was really exciting and it's covering and sealing all the nasty, disgusting grout in here and yeah, so I don't regret doing this project even though it did not come out perfect, you'll see the, you'll see at the end. Um, I still don't regret doing it. I'm glad I did. Uh, I still need to figure out. Yeah. Anyway, you'll see. I'm not going to give too many spoilers. I was at the wrong place at the right time. Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes. We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said, let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Alright guys, here is the shower after the first cut it looks pretty awful because it definitely needs two coats but I was so bummed that I did not have enough stuff to do the second coat in the same night so I had to wait till I ordered more and then I got sick and blah 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 it ended up sitting like this for two months before I got around to doing the second coat All right, guys, my bathroom has looked like this for two months now. So I'm finally going to get in here today and I have to sand the entire thing, which is why I did not ever finish this project because it is daunting. So I have to sand the entire shower. Um, and then I have to completely remove whatever sanding dust is in here. So I'm gonna have to like vacuum up the dust and then like really wipe it and just make sure there's no dust. And then I can do the second coat. I have the box right here. If I would have bought in two boxes to begin with, I would have finished this in one, one evening. So when I did this first coat, I could have just waited one hour and done the second coat and it would have been done. Like three days later, we would have been able to use it. But 
because I did not have a second box on hand, I thought one box would be enough. I couldn't do the second coat and by the time the second box got here, it had already cured and so you can't just do a second coat on top of the cured epoxy. You have to sand it. So that's a huge pain in the butt. I'm really bummed that I did not have enough the first night. And now two months later, I'm gonna finish it because I'm ready to have my shower back. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. can see how it got on the floor <laughs> so yeah good thing I have more boxes of this flooring because I can just replace the ones that got the paint on it but all right so I'm just putting back these fixtures and holy moly I don't know why the heck it would not go on it was driving me crazy I think while I was filming this part I gave up yeah I gave up but then when I wasn't filming, I was able to get them on again. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know why they weren't going on, but the next day I was just ready to force it on and I did and it, it worked when I forced it on. But yeah, like I said, I didn't film that part. So yeah. All right guys. So this whole bathroom project just is not going right. Um, so I finished the shower. We have been using it now. Um, I'm actually loving it, but there's one spot where the stuff did not adhere properly for some reason. Like literally that's the only spot and it, it like started, um, flaking off right here. Like it, the texture of it like feels different right here and it's 
it flakes off when I rub it. So that's the only spot that that happened in the entire shower. The rest of it looks so good. Like so good. Like I can't even tell you. It's, it's like we have just one of those white shower surrounds. Um, it's so much better than what it was. Um, and even with that spot on the floor, like I'm still glad I did this, but I am gonna try to like figure out what I can do on the ground now because I don't wanna spend another $40 for that tiny spot. Like this stuff is 40 bucks. So I've already spent that twice. 40 bucks for the first coat, 40 bucks for the second coat because our shower is so big. So anyway, um, and then also, so besides that little hiccup there, um, the painter's tape also like rip, was ripping the paint off the walls over here. So I do have touch up, um, I have to touch up the paint on these walls and then um, like right here it lifted the paint and then the old paint is showing and then over here it lifted it so much that the white is showing um, and then also this baseboard needs to be um, completely cleaned up and repainted and like yuck right there and then of course when I was um, so like I had craft paper down here, right? Like while I was doing the shower. But um, when I was lifting up the paper to throw it away, the paintbrush flew over here and made that happen. And then um, also drips happened. I, I don't know. I don't know how those drips happened. Thankfully, I have more of these tiles so I'm just gonna replace the ones that have the paint on them. And then what I'm gonna do, because the I hate the way this floor came out, but again, I don't wanna spend money on another flooring option in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some um, adhesive, like some liquid nails, and I'm just gonna lift up all the ones that aren't sticking good and squirt adhesive under them and like push them down because literally like all the floor tiles are just, they're not adhering to the floor. So I'm just gonna one by one start squirting, like look at by the toilet, like look at that, okay? So I'm just gonna one by one start back there those are lifting really bad. Um, so I'm just gonna start in the back and start squirting adhesive under them and sticking them down. We'll be all stuck down because as of right now, I'm like, you know, if, if someone, like if one of the kids got out of the shower and did not drip dry on the rug and they stepped here, then water's gonna be going under. Um, if, God forbid, Kiki gets in here and pees on the floor, <laughs> She hasn't yet, but if she did, that would get under too. Like I just can't have lifted up flooring. It's driving me crazy. Um, I also, I just don't like this floor. The squares make me crazy, um, but it's fine because it's temporary and it was cheap. So I'm not gonna redo it. I'm not gonna buy something more expensive. I'm just going to stick it down better. I need to fix up that baseboard, touch up that paint. I want to clean and paint the door. And then also like, I don't like having this towel thing hanging on the door. Cause whenever we like shut the door in the middle of the night, like you can just like hear it. And I don't know, we'll see. And then now that I um, took care of the hideous tile in the shower, now the counter, here is really standing out to me and then also like the cabinets just are in desperate need of a paint job too 
Um, so anyway, we'll see. And then I also really want to put some like shelving over the toilet. Like this whole space is just so bare. The window I remembered still needs to be painted. Like I never painted the trim in here. Um, so I do have to go around. I have to paint all this new window trim. Okay, so I actually just had an idea. I went out, sat in my room for a second and just thought and I had an idea. So what I could do to justify buying another kit is I could use it for that spot on the floor. So what I would need to do is I would have to sand the entire floor and, and start over like Okay, so I could do that. I could use it for the floor in here. And then there would also be enough to do the counter. So I could get that all prepped and ready, get this all prepped and ready, mix up the stuff, cause it's only good for six hours once you mix it. And then I would do a, a first coat on the floor. And then I would do the whole counter, probably not the sink, um, but I would do the whole counter and then I would wait an hour, do the second coat on the floor, and then the second coat on the counter, and that would be it. That would be it. And then once this counter was all pretty and white tile, then down here, I kind of want to just sand this whole thing completely, like sand all the paint off, and stain it and have it wood, like have it wood. So it'd be a wood vanity with a white counter and then this, it would tie in with this wooden frame I put around the mirror. I just wanted to show you guys with um, the those lights off, but with those lights on. So anyway, that's the frame. So I would probably try to match it to that color. And yeah. I think that would look really good and I feel like it would help kind of just complete the bathroom. And then obviously like when I put shelves above the toilet, I also want them to be wood, like that kind of wood. Um, so yeah. By the way, I really feel like I need to mention this is brand new. It's never been used. I would never have a toilet brush sitting on my counter <laughs> if it was used. It's brand new. Okay. All right. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.